An engine that can't breathe freely produces less power. In the life of the internal combustion engine, most developments have been evolutionary. But one of them was revolutionary. German inventor Felix Wankel came up with a radically new and simple design for an internal combustion engine way back in 1924. But it wasn't until 1957 that he built the first truly functional Wankel rotary engine. It was a dramatic departure from the piston engine. And because it spun around instead of pumping up and down like pistons, the rotary engine dramatically reduced vibration. Many, many people over time have tried to think of a better geometry. There are some negatives to this simple piston connecting rod cylinder arrangement. Um, masses move up and down, and uh, that's uh, hard to prevent that causing vibration. But so far, with the one exception of the Wankel, nobody's invented a geometry that's got into real-world production. This uh, roughly triangular-shaped rotor sort of moves around inside a container, but not quite symmetrically. It's, it's off-center. And so as it rotates this triangular rotor, it creates sort of smaller volumes and larger volumes in a similar way to the piston moving up and down in a standard engine cylinder. I have a very uh, strong attachment to the rotary engine without any questions. <laughs> Kobe Kobayakawa, recently retired, was project director for Mazda's highly successful RX-7 rotary engine sports car. This is the only moving part of the rotary engine, and we don't have any uh, intake or exhaust valve or camshaft. Basically, we have only two moving parts, two, two rotors. In the case of a, a V6 engine, uh, the moving parts, like a pistons and connecting rod and valves and camshaft, maybe uh, 50 moving parts. In 2001, Mazda completed development of an all-new rotary engine model called the RX-8. It may look small, but the 255 horsepower engine is competitive with much larger piston engines. And it's still the only car engine in mass production that has no pistons. Kobe Kobayakawa talked to Felix Wankel just a few years before the inventor's death in 1988. I, uh, I have been admiring him so many years. His eye to look into Mazda lottery engine is always more like a father's eye looking at the children. <laughs> uh, he's, he's so nice, and, and he was very, very pleased with the Mazda's you know, effort and result uh, about the lottery engine. Felix Wankel would be proud that the radical idea he came up with in 1924 spins on. Up next, tiny...